Question 22. Calculate 848 divided by 16. Now, anytime you're dividing by a number that's bigger than 10, and it's a two-digit number, you should really be using the chunking method. And the chunking method is all about repeated subtraction. So we're going to subtract chunks of 16 from 848 till we've got nothing left, and then we're going to add up our chunks. So before we start doing that, let's just set it up. So it's going to be 16 into 848. So the question is, what do I mean about ch by chunks of 16? Well, an easy chunk of 16 to, to work with would be 10 lots of 16, because that would be 160. Another easy chunk of 16 would be to double this. So 20 lots of 16 would be double this answer, which would be 320. Another easy chunk would be if I double it again. So we could say 40 lots of 16, and we could even double this again here to make 640. Okay, so we could use any of those chunks. Now let's begin. So what chunk of 16 shall I subtract first? Well, I could subtract 10 chunks, I could subtract 20 chunks, I could subtract 40 chunks, because all of these numbers are less than 848, so I could subtract any of these. Now, the bigger the amount of chunks you subtract, the quicker you're going to get to your final answer. So I should really be starting by subtracting 40 lots of 640. But it doesn't matter if I do 20 lots or 10 lots. I will still get the same answer. So I'm actually going to do 20 lots just to illustrate that it will still work. So if I start by subtracting 20 lots, just to decide right how many lots you're subtracting. Well, 20 lots is 320. So I subtract 320. And now what we need to do is actually work that out. So if we work this out, 8 take away 0 is 8. 4 take away 2 is 2, 8 take away 3 is 5. So we're now down to 528. So I now need to subtract another chunk of 16s. Well, I'm going to do the same chunk of 16s again. So I'm going to do another 20 lots, because I already know that 20 lots is 320. So I'll subtract another 320. So let's see what this gives us. 8 take away 0 is 8. 2 take away 2 is nothing, 5 take away two, 3 is 2. So we're now down to 208. So I need to keep going. So what can I subtract this time? Now we've only got 208 left. So I can't subtract 640, obviously, because that's too big. Can't even subtract 320 this time, because that's bigger than 208. So, but I can subtract 160. And 160 is a chunk of 10 lots of 16. So this time I need to write times 10. So let's work out what this gives us. 8 take away 0 is 8. 0 take away 6 we can't do, so we need to borrow 1. 10 take away 6 is 4. And 1 take away 1 is nothing. So we're now down to 48. So, how many 16s will make 48? Well, at this point, we need to think again. Well, 1 16 is 16, 2 16s would be 32, and another 16 on top of 48, on top of 32, would be 48. So that's actually going to be 1, 2, 3 16s. So this time, we're subtracting 3 16s, and we've already said that it is 48. So, what do you get if you take 48 from 48? Well, you get down to zero, obviously. Now, the whole point of chunking is that once you get down to zero, you simply add up all your chunks. So, we need to add this chunk of 20 to this chunk of 20 to this chunk of 10 to this chunk of 3. So, we're adding them all together. So, 20 plus 20 is 40, plus 10 is 50, plus 3 is 53. So the final answer is 53. So there are 53 chunks of 16 in 848. That's what it means. How many 16s go into 848? 53.